Mastering Money with Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Chapter 1 Introduction Unveiling Financial Wisdom. Rich Dad, Poor Dad is a book that radically changed how people think about money. It shares powerful lessons through the story of a boy with two dads. One dad is highly educated but struggles financially. The other dad, a successful businessman, teaches the boy about wealth. This book isn't about getting rich quickly, it's about changing your mindset. It teaches you to think differently about money and to build a strong financial future. Millions have learned from this book, and so can you. This guide will explore key lessons from rich dad, poor dad. We'll use simple examples to help you understand the book's message. Remember, this is for learning and shouldn't replace professional advice. This guide aims to make financial wisdom accessible to everyone. It's time to unlock your financial potential with Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Moving on to Chapter 2 Lesson 1 The Rich Don't Work for Money. The first lesson in Rich Dad, Poor Dad challenges a common belief the rich don't work for money. Money works for them. This means learning to make your money grow instead of just trading time for a paycheck. Imagine two people Sarah and David. Sarah works a 9 to 5 job and gets paid for her time. David, on the other hand, invests in rental properties and earns passive income even when he's not actively working. This lesson emphasizes the power of assets. Assets are things that put money in your pocket, such as rental properties or businesses, while liabilities take money out of your pocket, like cars or expensive clothes. The rich focus on building assets that generate income, leading to financial freedom. Now, let's delve into Chapter 3 Lesson 2 Why Teach Financial Literacy. This chapter stresses the importance of financial education. Many people struggle financially because they lack basic money management skills. They often fall into debt traps and live paycheck to paycheck. Rich Dad Poor Dad argues that schools don't teach us about money. We learn subjects like math and history, but not how to manage our finances. This lack of financial literacy can have serious consequences in adulthood. Imagine two friends, Emily and John, graduating from the same college. Emily learned about investing and budgeting from her family. John didn't. Years later, Emily is financially secure, while John struggles with debt. This chapter highlights the need to take control of our financial future. It encourages readers to seek financial knowledge beyond traditional education. In Rich Dad Poor Dad, when we talk about minding your own business, it doesn't mean you have to start a company. It's about focusing on building your assets, even while you're working a job. This could involve investing in real estate, stocks, or even building a side business. Let's consider two colleagues, Mark and Lisa. Both work regular jobs, but Mark spends his free time watching TV, whereas Lisa dedicates her time to learning about real estate. Over time, Lisa manages to buy rental properties that generate extra income, bringing her closer to financial freedom. This chapter really encourages readers to be proactive. It's about creating multiple income streams and not just relying solely on a job for financial security. It emphasizes that financial freedom comes from building assets that work for you, not just from working for someone else. Rich Dad Poor Dad serves as a powerful guide to understanding money and building wealth. It teaches us that financial freedom is achievable through smart financial habits and a significant shift in mindset. The book emphasizes building assets, focus on acquiring assets that generate income. It also stresses the importance of financial literacy, urging us to continuously learn about money management and investing. Moreover, it advocates for a mindset shift, moving from a fear-based to an opportunity-based perspective about money. This guide provides a glimpse into the core principles of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. It's meant for informational purposes only and shouldn't replace professional financial advice. We encourage you to read the full book and explore additional resources to deepen your financial knowledge. Start your journey towards financial freedom today. Until next time stay financially savvy.